Welcome to DOS Geek. This is an exciting day for me. You know that my mission on this channel, when I started using to Linux about two years ago, was to show Linux is not just for old computers, but the most powerful computers. So I got, you know, the Intel i7-6700K back then, the NVIDIA GeForce 1080, but I've wanted to go Team Red for a while with AMD because AMD is killing it. So... I went and built the Ryzen 7 2700X. We got 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM. We've got the Vega 56 as of two weeks ago, and I was showing you how awesome that is. But today, my friends, today we have the Vega 64. So which one did I pick up? I got the ASUS Strikes, Strix, I don't know what it is. Republic of Gamers Radeon RX Vega 64 card in here right now. If you look in the middle left-hand corner there, it's hard to see. It shows about 190 frames per second. It goes between 200 and 190 frames per second. And resting here within Rocket League, this is the Vega 64. It is an incredible card. One of the things I like about this card, by the way, if you're looking for the Vega series, you notice how this has the three fans. The reference series of this card, the Vega 56 I had, only had the one fan. It gets pretty hot. I'm not going to lie. That, that card gets really hot with that one reference fan. This card, however, does not get hot at all. You can see they've got three coolers on this, and it really works to keep it cool. So I would recommend if you can get yourself a good price on this card. This one, I think, was running on Amazon on sale for like $5.39, somewhere around that. I was able to pick it up. And if you can get your hands on one, do it because... you. It's just, it's an incredible experience, first of all, for distro hopping, because with AMD, you don't have to install any drivers. It's all built into the kernel. You just go, and that is an awesome experience. We are on Fedora 28 right now, and uh, let's uh, let's get into the game here. Oh, I got to remember the controls. <laughs> uh, not that I'm any good at Rocket League anyways. So if we stay in non-boosted mode here, you can see we're running about 180, 195 well, I accidentally scored because I'm so good. It's so hard not to score. That was an accident. In any case, you can see we're running uh, somewhere around when we're just cruising around, around 180 frames per second, 200 frames, 178, 180. Very, very impressive. Compared to the Vega 56, uh, you know, it's probably a 20, 30 frame per second difference. And we're in the ridiculous, ludicrous modes already right here with these frames that we're getting. But... Once we hit boost, you'll see as we're moving the frames faster across the screen, we go to about 170 at times, still cruising in the very high 180s, 227, 191, 167, just insane. And this is on high quality within Rocket League. Absolutely amazing. Let me show you the settings here. Because people will be like, you lied, you had it on medium. So you can see everything is on high here. Uh, wait, that's not the... Let's try that again. All right, so there's your texture quality world. Uh, high quality, quality anti-aliasing is off here. Max frames per second moved up. Texture detail is quality there. So it's kind of in between the performance or high performance. We're in quality. We could raise it to high quality and see what kind of reaction we get there. And resume game. And that drops us down when we're cruising about uh, 170, 160 frames per second if we have those all kind of maxed out. And then as we start cruising super fast, still around the 170, 180, a little bit of drops here and there, but I would say it's averaging about 170 frames per second. So just incredible. Plus we're running OBS at the same time, by the way, recording this. So you got to keep that in mind as well. And uh, it, it's just a beast. Anything you throw at this thing, it eats up. So let's take a look at some other games here just for fun. Now, obviously, within Linux, there are great ports like Rocket League that do a fantastic job keeping the performance up. And there are other games where the porting is not so great. So that will vary on our frame rates for sure. All right, let's take a look at some other games here. Now, one of the games you guys know I love to play when I'm doing frame per second tests is, of course, CSGO, just because CSGO is an awesome game. And 
we're doing the typical same thing we did with the 1080 when we were doing the test uh the headshot ak-47 rounds we're not dropping out of people's game and you can see we're getting ridiculous frames per second here similar to what we were seeing in rocket league 190 200 frames per second as we're walking 229 frames per second just absolutely ludicrous results here within linux running fedora 28 so i'm part of team red kind of twice here running with the fedora the rel the rpm i'm loving fedora by the way absolutely dig it it is the best known experience out there because it's the closest to vanilla gnome and it just runs fantastic i love the workflow i love everything about it so maybe i can take this bot over the control bot i got this guys don't worry never mind yeah well it doesn't help you with gaming as this proves at all but it's certainly uh, an amazing experience from a performance standpoint wow that potato shot though it's, it's just because my hands are on the keyboard right. That's the problem. Or it's the skill one or the other. Gosh. I mean, why not just put it to the back of his head and pull the trigger? I'd still miss. All right. So this is CSGO. This is not with any special unlimited frames or anything enabled. This is just standard. We can look at the quality here. Uh, video settings and we're all on high everything is on high that's the highest is high highest is high so awesome there let's back out and look at some other games okay so now we are in Tomb Raider and the cool thing about Tomb Raider is that this is a feral port but I have I have some very important information here regarding Tomb Raider so I've reported this as a bug but what took place is I was got this Vegas 64. I started running all these different games. Of course, one of the ones I wanted to do was Tomb Raider because, I mean, it's a really AAA title. It's got amazing graphics. I wanted to see what kind of frames we could pull off in the benchmark here. I was getting one to nine frames per second. You can see in the left-hand corner, we're doing a lot better than that. I couldn't figure out why. I even uninstalled Ubuntu in another a hard drive that I had and I was running it there and I was getting results similar to this and I couldn't figure out why in Fedora I was getting results in one to nine frames per second. It wasn't the Wayland session because yes, that would cause it as well. It actually happened to be because I had installed the Steam version, the Flatpak version of Steam. And that's the only thing that I could figure out. I even installed Fedora again as I was trying to troubleshoot and figure this out completely fresh because I thought maybe I installed a driver or something that it was calling to that was older. I couldn't figure out what it was, but I eventually found just uh, uninstalled the Flatpak version, installed the RPM version of Steam, and boom, I got this performance here. So there is something with where the Flatpak is installing the games or something these games are calling to that the flat pack does not have access to that causes you to get ridiculously horrible uh, quality when you are running these type of games. Now, I didn't notice it in anything like Ballistic Overkill or CSGO. It was just titles like this. So I did open a ticket with it and we'll see where they go. But keep that in mind if you're using a flat pack version of Steam, you may have a different performance than you do on the regular version. Again, I can't confirm that. I'm not an expert in that area, but that was the experience I had. So I wanted to share that with you if you are having performance issue. So averaging 129 frames per second with a max of 167 in Tomb Raider. Again, this is a port from Feral and from a performance standpoint, not one of the greatest ports out there. Uh, you can see that when you start playing the game, even with the Vega 56 or the 1080, these big drops, depending on where you're at in frames, um, so, you know, it's, it's, but that's a very, very impressive result out of there. So these are the settings that we have for it. Of course, I think the benchmark just goes for the highest, but basically we've got high settings on most of this, uh, stuff here, uh, for those options. So that is another showing of the impressive Vega 64. So my impression so far of Vega, uh, AMD, on Linux, it's an incredible experience because unlike NVIDIA where certain distros, especially when you're dealing with Wayland and those type of things with NVIDIA, you have to do configurations, you have to install drivers, you will experience issues sometimes when you're installing those drivers, 
They're all, of course, those drivers are all proprietary. With AMD, you pop the card in, you go. It doesn't matter what distro you're using. It doesn't matter if it's Wayland or not. You're going to get the best experience you can get out of that. And that's fantastic. AMD's putting all their effort into their open source drivers. So you do not have to install the AMD GPU proprietary drivers out there. In fact, they recommend you don't. Also, huge shout out to Fedora because I am loving Fedora. Absolutely an amazing distribution. You can see even in the wallpaper, which you can get on my website now, the Fedora on the brain. Because that's what I'm thinking right now. I am loving what Fedora is producing here. So that is my video. This is the Vega 64 on Linux. You can see the performance, the power, the awesomeness. This is what it means to show how powerful Linux is because it is not just for old hardware. It is for the latest and greatest stuff, and it's all built right into the kernel. That, my friends, is amazing. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Yes, I know I only spent two weeks with the Vega 56, but I just couldn't stand it. I had to have the best. The best is the 64, and that's what we've got now. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think, and until next time, get out there and fill your brains.
fight for the future. Contact. 